Engineer producer Mark Howard on working with Danielle Lanois, Brian Eno, and Peter Gabriel in the studio. I'm John Bone from Rocky Street Music. I remember uh, right after 9-11, I talked to Tony Levin and and uh, I, I and he had told me, he says, my God, my wife was downtown in New York when this all happened. And uh, I asked him, when's the next Peter Gabriel album coming out? He says, oh, we never really know, but we just wait and we do other things. Yeah, I talked to Jerry Murata about talk, working with him. You you worked with uh, Gabriel when Manu Cachet was his drummer, I think, later on, right? Yeah. 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 Uh, I, I didn't do so, but I did us. Yes. Some what of us. What was that like? Uh, it was, uh, I, they came to New Orleans, Peter came to New Orleans and, uh, I think, uh, I recorded a bunch of horns and a bunch of other stuff on it and, and, um, and then they kind of went and then, you know, it, it, those kind of records last a year or longer, you know, like they, they, so they come and go same with you too. Like the, uh, all that you can't leave behind record. I was there in the beginning, then they went away and then I was there in the middle and then uh, they went away and I was there at the end mixing. So it was, uh. But some like on that record, it was like oh, it was two years. Three people had died, and four babies were born, and you know people coming. It's like it's just like a. Are you big, talking Gabriel or you two? You two, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, so, but Bono was infatuated with uh, hip hop. So a lot of the songs, like there were seeds in the beginning, and then the, the middle period, they came in, and everything was programmed like with hip hop beats and stuff like that. And so they took that to. Uh, I remember going with them to. Uh, to Interscope and Jimmy Iovine was their A and R guy. And Jimmy's like this little tiny Jewish little guy from New York. He's he's pretty incredible. And so uh, he listens to it. And he goes, "This is amazing! It's, it's incredible! This is the best thing I've ever heard." But where the hell is you too? Hello, I don't hear you too. Hello, where are they? Get back in there and give me some U2. <laughs> so I went back in there and Larry put drums and Adam played his bass. And so that was the uh, kind of uh, how all that you can't leave behind came about. And, you know, so it was, it's crazy. It happens to stages and it's like peaks and valleys, you know, you hit a peak, great. And then you end up in a valley and, you know, and, you know, the U2 stories go crazy. So by the way, are you in Nova Scotia? No, I'm in Los Angeles right now. I've just, uh, I've been mixing a couple of records here. So did I not hear in one of the interviews that you the yeah. the, the lady that I'm, you talked to? Yeah, I live in Nova Scotia. I live in um, a place called the Cabot Trail, right by Sydney. Oh my God! Right at the tip of uh, Nova Scotia. So I went there a couple of years just before the uh, pandemic thing happened. I went to make a record there with this band called the Pretty Arch Pretty Archie. And uh, so, well, we rented this beautiful house on the lake, big, huge A-frame, and we all huddled up, up in there, and I brought all my gear in, and we made their record there. And while I was there, I kept on seeing all these houses for rent. And so I called up the real estate agent just to see what the prices were like. And they're like, you know, like 150000 I think, wow, that's pretty cheap. So he said, uh, so I said, will you, will you show me a couple? So he showed me a couple. And then there was this one house, and he said, uh, you want to put an offer on it? I said, no, 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 I'm not really looking. I'm just, just wanted to see what the market was like. I said, go ahead, just make any kind of um, offer. I said, all what right. What year would I'll... this have been? What this what this year? was uh, uh, two years ago. Uh, okay. Yeah, about about a year and a half ago. Now, yeah. So uh, so he said, any offer? And I said, well, I'll give him 25000 thinking that they'd say no. And the next day he calls up, okay, they accepted your offer. <laughs> so I, I just bought a house. And so I moved moved there like in the spring um during covid and all that stuff and i kind of fixed the house up and i sold it a month later for eighty five thousand. and then i sold it to this indigenous guy that was uh at, up the street in the uh, indian reservation indigenous region uh, reservation and so uh he, he's like, uh, here, I give you, uh, he gave me 85000 for the house. And then suddenly uh, my lawyer says, well, who's his lawyer? And I says, he doesn't have one. And I went back to him and said, uh, hey, Keith, you need a lawyer. And he's like, I don't need no stinking lawyers. I said, it's not like buying a car. You got to like put the deed in your name. He's got to be gone through a lawyer. No way. I ain't no taking no stinking lawyers. And so uh, in the meantime, I'd sold that house and put another offer on another house. And so there, uh, there, there, yeah, on the Cabot Trail. And so this was uh, on a lake. And then this is the, the new one was on the Cabot Trail. And so ended up, my lawyer said, well, we can't do it unless he has a lawyer. And so I'd say, Keith, you know, and he'd already give me the money. 
And so I had to give the money back. But now I also got this other offer in this other house. So now I own two houses. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. Links to both of Mark Howard's books are in the description where you can pick them up. One is the storybook, basically telling the stories about working with all the greats, Neil Young, Joni Mitchell, Bob Dylan, Tom Waits, Tragically Hip, and so many more. So we'll have links to both books. Like I said, the first one's the storybook. The second one is basically the pictures book. We've showed you some pictures in the videos. Links to that and a lot more. If you want to help the channel, there are links. Subscribe. Check out our podcast. It's a fairly new podcast. It's doing really, really well. And you can hear a lot of our full interviews on our podcast. Share our videos and podcasts and like, comment. We'd appreciate that. I'm John Bowden. This is Rock History Music. Take care of yourself.